Welcome back to this week's video. I have been a very busy bee in this one. If you saw last week's video, you will know that my niece, she's getting a big girl's bedroom makeover. That's a mouthful. And I started some of the work this week, so yep. The wallpaper is stripping. We did a wood treatment to the wall. I was busy, so I'm gonna get straight into the video. Good morning, tis day one. I've got my toolbox ready to go. I'm on the hunt to get a wallpaper stripper. I'm not buying one. I'm not buying one because I only need it for one thing. But my brother said that he had one. But I went to get it last night and my mom was like, she hands me a wallpaper scraper. And I was like, nah, it's, I'm after something electric here. So I texted him and said, hey, where's this wallpaper stripper that you said you had? So I'm going to see if I can get one because there's two layers of paper in Lily's room. The plan for today is assemble her new bed, disassemble her old bed. Um, because that means I have space in the room to work, strip the wallpaper, get a coat of paint on her ceiling. If I can get that in day one, I will be happy because we'll have to kind of tidy up and do space. Then tomorrow, if I can get the panelling done, I will be super happy with that. And then the next day, if I could paint it, I would also be happy with that. Um, but I've left the guys with the wallpaper samples. I know Lily has kind of picked her face if she's seen it in the last video. Um, but Nanny Siobhan, you know she got the final say. <laughs> so, all I'm bringing with me today is just my orange tail box. I said it in a video that the last time when I was doing Jack's bedroom, um, I was having like boxes of stuff to carry, like to my car and stuff. So I just got a tail box to make it handier. So that's all I'm bringing today. I'm not bringing my woodwork table uh, because I'll use that tomorrow. So I'm trying to just bring what I need um, to be as tidy as I can as I go. So yeah. This is what, I think I have everything I need in here. Yeah, I actually think, oh, I have my, I'm gonna see if I have another wallpaper stripper, just in case, a scraper, um, and I'll pop that in. So you can check out last week's video where I showed you a proper look around the before of the room. But just, here's a quick little look, and we have this wallpaper that has two layers of paper that we have to strip. But what I love about Lily's room is she's got this lovely big window, and she gets lots of light in this room. The first thing we did was remove the old bed. Lily's old bed was half a bunk bed, so Jack had the other half in his room, and they were bunk beds at one stage. So if you saw Jack's video, you'll know that he got this. Um, it was the Cura bed from Ikea. Um, so Lily is getting this smaller toddler bed that does expand, but I wanted to just make the bed up um, just so that she had somewhere to sleep, like it can be moved out of the room while I'm working on it. But I also wanted to assemble it to make sure that it was going to fit in the nook that I wanted it to. So I want to give Lily lots of playing space in this room. And when she had the other bed, it was taking up because it is a box room. It's the smallest room in the house. So when the bed was lengthways that she had, she had a single bed. It took up lots of space. So we went for the smaller toddler bed and hopefully she'll get a couple of years out of it and then if she wants she can reposition the bed along the window and it can extend out as she gets bigger ah wallpaper stripping so the first layer of wallpaper came off super easy we just used spray bottles of warm soapy water and some cloths and then we were able to pull it off and then scrape it off however the wallpaper that was underneath i don't know what adhesive was used or how long it's up but it took uh, me and Nanny Siobhan a good hour and a half to scrape it off the wall. My brother did arrive two hours later with a wallpaper steamer, but Siobhan actually had a clothes steamer. So I said, give a shot of that, and it did work. So if you have a clothes steamer, you can steam some of it. But to be honest, if you just moisten it with warm soapy water and come back in about 20 minutes, you should be able to scrape most of it off. So we just needed more patience but if you have got the wallpaper steamer to hand I highly recommend using one if you've got one. We then just carried on with some other prep jobs so cleaning up, checking the panels that I'm going to be using tomorrow. I also painted two coats of white paint that we had left over from Jack's bedroom and I painted the ceiling white just to freshen it up because there was some paint that had bled over into the corners so I wanted to just have the ceiling fresh and white so when I do go to wallpaper paper there's not going to be any like old grey paint poking out so we tackled filling in all the gaps as well and all of those prep jobs that are not really fun but they have to be done
welcome back to my video. <laughs> so, hang on, I turn on, turn on the sound. Right, your bed. Yeah. So Liz asked a really good question. You asked was I nearly finished? But no, I've only just begun. That's the sun says. So your bed is gonna go, hang on, this way. Where am I gonna sleep tonight? Um, I don't know, you might get to sleep in Nanny's bed tonight, maybe. Have you skilled tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, so your bed. Right, do you wanna scooch over to the corner so I don't squash it? Well, that's the one Nanny Siobhan likes, but you get the final say. What? You have the final say. But see the wood panel behind you? Yeah. You're gonna have that wood panel all around the room. So it'll be half paneled, which will be in a nice beigey pink. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, you have all this floor space now. Have you got enough floor Ikea. space to play? Ikea. Yeah. Do you remember we went there last week? So, is this enough space for your bed? Yeah? Yeah. So, you have all of this floor space. Hang on. This swing that Nanny Siobhan says she thinks she has in the shed. Yeah. Yeah. You want it in this corner that I'm standing in? Yeah. And we have to get baskets for your things here. So, Wait, we, we might have to... You're going to have to bring your hot air balloon. The hot air balloon is going to hopefully go on this life in, but I haven't made it yet. You haven't made it yet? No, because I have to, I have to do your, your wow. room. Yeah. So now look, you've got loads of floor space to play. And you can tuck in there for bed and your window isn't blocked anymore. So you can see out the window. Yeah. So yeah, it will be another couple of days, my friend. You got hypnotized? Yeah. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. Did you just go off into a daydream? What? Did you daydream? Yeah. Happens to me too, girl. High five. Pew. Good morning, day two. Today is all about putting the beadboard on the wall. So I've got my laser level, lots of batteries um, that are hopefully charged. I'm just bringing my miter box. I'm not bringing my, I have a miter, Drill. I'm so sorry, I'm really sleepy today. I'm just bringing, bringing the box to cut the trim for like the capping of the beadboard. I, I said it in a previous video, but I'm currently in a woodwork class and he makes us cut everything by hand. So I thought, you know what, if I'm only doing a couple of like corners um, of the capping, I'll just use the miter box and my saw because I've been getting good with my saw. Um, I'm bringing my circular just in case I need to cut. Um, but I don't think I'll need to use, um, I probably will, I'll probably have to trim aside. Then I'll just have my jigsaw for the power outlet. So if I need to cut around, I'll definitely need to cut around, I think two power outlets. And then I need to cut a piece at an angle cause it's on a slope. I just have a drill my nail gun, all of my caulk and stuff and adhesive is already in the house. And, uh, oh yeah, I need to bring drill bits. Hang on, I think my office is so messy at the moment. I'm having one of those mornings where I'm irritable. They happen. You know, I literally just stood to move there and my sh I stood on my shoelace and opened and it gave me the, the err. <laughs> It ain't a lot of sunshine, I just had to share that. I'm also gonna bring, so I'll bring the woodwork table. I love this. I got this for Christmas and I, I think it's the best present ever. And um, it's just great for when you need to clamp wood, um, especially just little pieces. And then I can just cut it straight. It was like a lifesaver when I was doing Jack's bedroom. So I'm gonna bring that. And then before I do anything, it's Friday as well, the day I'm filming this. I'm going to the coffee shop. And I'm getting the biggest coffee, quadruple shots. Also, FYI, I'm quite sensitive to coffee. Um, I don't like have it often, like one a day. And when I have one coffee, my body feels it. <laughs> I, I can either get the jitters or it'll be fine. It's like coffee roulette. I never know how it's gonna get me, but okay. Off we go. Off we go, me and my 
Creepy head. I can happily report that the large coffee worked and I was no longer grumpy. For the beadboard in this room, I'm using these Preco MDF beadboard panels. And there is six panels in a pack and I used four packs, I think. And I just had one left over. And they're handy because they just click into each other. So all I'm doing, quite similar to when I did paneling in Jack's room, I'm just applying a bead of adhesive on the back. And then I'm using my nail gun just to secure it into the wall. By using the adhesive, I find I don't have to use as many nails. Because I don't like damaging walls with nails and stuff. Um, I know if this beadboard was ever removed, there is going to be like a little bit of damage to the wall. But I don't like having loads of nails going in everywhere so I'm actually using the same adhesive that I used in Jack's room because I had some left over and then I am also going to use the same decorators caulk as well and you can also see that I'm using the existing baseboards most of the room was actually quite even I did just have to trim one of the wood panels on the top because I think there was an area where the beadboard had slightly expanded the wood and um, was just a little bit warped so I just trimmed the wood panel um, so that the capping would go on it nice and even. I use my mini circular saw, god it is so handy, I'll leave a link to it in the description box. I use this on Jack's room as well. So I use this to trim any of the panels that I needed to, so when I got to the end of the wall, any of the gaps that was left, so I just measured it, put the measurements onto the wood and then I cut it to size, used adhesive and I stuck it on. doing this angled bit I don't know how to explain what I'm doing but the width is 33 centimeters so I'm gonna cut the panel 33 centimeters so at least I have the width perfect and then the length I have measured out so it goes across six centimeters until it goes at an angle up to 75 centimeters I've just written my measurements on the wall so then I'm gonna cut an angle and hope that my measurements are right and this is the way to do it. Fingers crossed. So to measure the windowsill again I have one I have this panel and I have measured down to where this is going to be so for example hang on my camera 
have a tight space. So this is what I need to cut out so that it's gonna sit in flush. So I measured the top down 62 centimeters, then from 62 to 67 and a half is this, and then the rest is at the bottom. So I've measured down 62 to 67 and a half, and I'm gonna cut this out with a jigsaw, and it should fit in. Fingers crossed. Also, if you're wondering why I do two drill marks when I'm using the jigsaw, this is just so I can get my jigsaw blade into the hole so I can do a straight cut there. So just use a drill bit that's the width um, or just slightly bigger than the blade. So then you can pop your blade in and do a straight cut across. Once all the beadboard panels were on the wall, it was time to do the capping. So that is the wood trim that's on the top. And to do the miter corners, I forgot to get it on camera, but I just used the yellow miter box that you saw at the start of the video. And I used my hand saw just to cut them at an angle. And then I stuck them on with adhesive and then a couple of nails from my nail gun. You can use a hammer and some tacks as well. Don't worry if you don't have a nail gun. Um, it just holds the trim in place while the adhesive dries. So this was day two and I'm actually giggling to myself as I'm editing this video because I'm getting more disheveled looking as the video goes on. But this was day two. All of the beadboard is on the wall. The trim is on top. I still need to caulk it and tomorrow it's time for paint. Good morning. I'm just eating my porridge and I just want to answer a question because I was actually replying to comments on last week's YouTube channel. So a couple of people were saying, who is Nanny Siobhan? So Nanny Siobhan is their nanny on their mom's side. So you know how kids say, like if they're lucky enough to have their two nannies with them. Um, so like my mom is, my mom is their nanny on my brother's side. I love how Irish people explain families so complicated when really it's <laughs> so simple. Nanny Siobhan is, hang on, is my light? There we go. Nanny Siobhan is their nanny. So their mom's mammy. Nanny Siobhan lives with the fam. So, and also Nanny Siobhan loves interiors. That's why she's always helping me when I'm doing um, either of the bedrooms. Uh, because their mom, not that she's not interested, but she's like, I'll just leave you to it. You do your thing. And um, she's like, yeah, it looks nice. I trust you. So we love doing things like this. So that's why Nanny Siobhan is, she's a great helper. Oh my God, she's amazing. So the plan for today is, sorry, if that's really annoying. I'm going to go get paint. I had to also just double check the stock of the wallpaper um, and make sure there was enough uh, wallpaper stock because um, if it didn't that could mess up our paint anyway <laughs> we're gonna get paint it's currently Saturday and I think we're gonna have a cheeky few cans of cider <laughs> just because it's Saturday so I think I have to caulk primer caulk primer maybe this evening first coat of paint few cans second coat of paint tomorrow with a hangover so well, not a hangover but you know so that is the plan. Once the boss had signed off on my paint color choice, it was time to prime all of the MDF panels. So we used a roller and then I had to use a brush to get into the little nooks and crannies because the roller was just not getting into the crevices. I also used some decorator's cork to fill in any of the gaps, albeit I filled them in a little bit dodgy, but I'm hoping the wallpaper will cover any of the mistakes on top. Without thinking twice, and I knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind. 
After giving the baseboards a quick clean with some sugar soap, I went in with some primer just to block the old paint that was underneath and I'm using the same primer that's suitable for um, MDF and difficult surfaces on the baseboards as well. I gotta stay here for some time. Somehow made it through without losing sight mm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out from the dark mm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm. And this road that I am on Gotta stay. The colour I use for the top coat is Tumbles Marble by Colour Trend and I'm using a satin finish so there's got a little bit of a sheen to it and this colour you'll see how it changes in the different light so Lily gets lots of natural sunlight throughout the day um, for the positioning of her room it's in the front so there's lots of sunshine and it's completely different compared to Jack's room which has a more cooler tones in it but this paint is a lovely creamy peachy pinky color I don't know if that is the correct way to describe it but sometimes when the Sun is shining in it looks really peachy and then when it's just normal light no harsh sunlight it just looks nice and pinky toned and um, so it's a warm cream color and it's gonna be really nice with the wallpaper that she picked you can see a little sneaky peeky of some wallpaper behind me so We've one and a half coats on the panelling and yeah, I think we're ready for a second coat, but I'm not gonna lie. You can tell from the paint in my head, I'm a bit fatigued now. Dirty hands, clean money. Isn't that the phrase? So we're going to do a second coat on this. Loving how this has turned out. Hang on, I was gonna flip my camera around. So, Yes, the wallpaper will obviously cover my dodgy caulking. I think I was getting a bit tired. But filled in any of the gaps. But as you can see, we just need to give the panelling a second coat. But I am loving how warm this is. So when we stand back, you can see, just ignore the mess. But as you walk in, like a massive difference. So once the top is papered, this is going to look so good. So I'm really happy with what we're after being able to get done. So that's where I'm at today, at present. I now have to go and collect her wallpaper and I've got loads more bits to do. So I haven't even thought of the fun stuff like finishing touches and styling. So we have to do some wallpaper. I still have a unit in her room that needs to be painted. And then we get to do the fun stuff like putting up her little canopy and you know doing things like that but thank you so much especially for my regular viewers who appreciate the work that goes into making like a room makeover video I said it <clears throat> excuse me I said it in Jack's video as well like while it might be frustrating to not see a video that is start to finish a room makeover when you upload weekly videos to YouTube it's very hard to whack out a room makeover in a week especially because uh, it has to be edited and um, I do have some other work that I do that I do all this around so thank you so much for I know it's frustrating when you don't get a start to finish room makeover in a video but I don't have a team of editors and people to wallpaper I am one man band with the help of Nanny Siobhan this week so thank you to those who get that I appreciate you thank you and I actually had an epiphany this week in woodwork class I overheard my woodwork teacher, someone asked them a question, they said, would you cut this by hand if you were on site? Because um, he's a carpenter. And he was like, yeah, if it was a couple of small things, he's like, yeah, I would still cut wood by hand, but he's like, um, I would use a machine if I had lots of pieces to do. Um, 
and he said something along the lines of, he's like, you see it on site, the lads just want to get in, get out, get the job done as quick as they can, and then just lash things out. And I'm like, damn, I kind of feel like that with YouTube sometimes. I want to actually enjoy doing it and not feel the pressure to have full productions on a weekly basis because it's not energetically sustainable. So even this week, I was normally I would be rushing and I would try and get, you know, the wallpapering in the same video as the panelling and stuff. And I was like, you know what? No, I'm, I'm going to rush something and it's not going to be a proper job. So yeah, I'm not rushing. I'm taking my time. Follow along for the journey. <laughs> Also, channel members get to see the video before everybody else. So if you do want to see it beforehand, if you go to um, my channel page and go to the member section, you can see what videos are available for members. Um, so they normally get them a couple of days before um, the Thursday video. So yeah, if you want to see it anytime sooner. And also on Instagram, I'll share a few sneak peeks behind the scenes of her, you know, wallpaper. Just a few sneaky peeks. I don't be on Instagram a lot lately, but I do share like a few little behind the scenes if you want to see. Do you want to see what I've been getting up to? I will end at that. I'm actually off to collect wallpaper and get an eye test. Could your girl just be blind? <laughs> I was like, I really want to just go and wallpaper my niece's bedroom, but I have life admin to do. <laughs> I have to go get an eye test. Your girl has to get her nails refilled and then she go and wallpaper some else. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next video.